So what is best, kayak or float tube? Today we're gonna go fishing in these guys and we're gonna find out. This is up next. Today I'm gonna go fishing again with my good friend Jonne. He's gonna fish from a kayak. We're like the float tube and kayak squad here. All, all round lures for pike fishing. Look at that head. Oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna go fishing again with my good friend Jonne. He's gonna fish from a kayak, Mr. Jonka fishing. And we're also gonna fish together with Emil Grönvall. Hello. And he's gonna fish from a float tube. I'm also gonna fish from float tube. I'm gonna use the seven bass flat form. So it's a combination between kayak and float tube or actually rowing boat and float tube. So we're gonna do some pike and perch fishing as always. Mostly perch, but uh, maybe a pike in a sender too. Yeah, oh, in a sender, yeah. I've actually never fished from a kayak, never ever. And I've, I've never fished together with someone from a kayak, you know? So this is gonna be super fun to see how it compares to the float tube and the platform. Yeah, I will act like the secure team. Yeah, you can drag us in if, <laughs> <laughs> in case of a puncture or anything. So the craft that we're gonna use today is hidden inside this little bag here. Doesn't look like much, but in here we have a beast of a float tube. And now we're gonna inflate it. Since this one is uh, bigger than most float tubes, it takes a bit longer to inflate, but I wouldn't say it's a problem. You know, it takes maybe, I think total inflation time is about five minutes of this one, so it's not that bad. Ready to go. Let's go down to the water. Got some wind today. We're on the water and we're ready to go fishing. This is gonna be super fun. Hopefully we'll get a few bites. I'm fishing from this one, Jonna from the kayak, and Emil is fishing from the super fat cat, Outcast. So we're like the float tube and kayak squad here. Super cool. So I think Jonna and Emil are gonna start, start with perch gear, right? And sander. If, if the perch not bites, we we'll size up and try to get the sander. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe to start with pike actually, just to see if there are any pike around when you fish for perch. And then if I find any pike action or you perch action, I can change as well. So the sun is just about to rise and we are ready to start fishing. I'm gonna use the oars actually, because they're faster. That's a good thing with this platform, that they have these oars. You can even mount a trolling motor. I don't have any yet, but I really plan to get one for this ride. These are new waters for me. I've only ice fished here a few times in the past, many, many years ago. So I'm gonna use this one, the deeper. Just throw it overboard. Open up the app, and now we can see the temperature, the depth, and we'll start drawing this map as always. So this is where we're gonna start fishing. We can see that up here we had one meter only, and then we have a slope here with four down to five, almost six meters where we are at the moment. My plan is to start with pike, but now we can actually see that we have something on the bottom here, which could be, well, it could be a pike actually, so I'm gonna start with that. Jonne and Emil are doing, going for perch, so I... Oh crap, this, this could actually be perch, so I'm gonna try that first. Starting with a monkey shad, which is my go-to perch jig. And I'm just gonna try to vertical jig this one. That's actually something I should do more of, vertical fishing. Especially from float tube like this. Fish on, yep. Fish on here. I think it's a pike. Yay! <laughs> Decent pike here on a monkey shot. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow, great action here. Jonne has a nice perch. I have a pike here, probably the one I saw on the sonar. Now we can see it here. Took the monkey shot right in front of my feet almost, a few meters down, but not on the bottom. Well, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. First little pike of the day, in the sunrise, almost. So no monster, but super, super fun. Kill that monkey shad, look at that. See up. So that fish was standing right on this edge up here. Took a few meters below my float tube out here on the slope. Gonna switch to pike. I'm gonna start with this one, hooligan roach, in the real roach color. Works everywhere. And this lure is perfect for this kind of fishing. 
slightly deeper. When you have some wind, you have some kind of murky waters and you want to make some noise. You want to attract them from a far distance. This is a perfect lure for that. Do we have something on the bottom? I'm going to try with a perch rod here. Fish on. Let's see what this is. This could be actually be a... I think this is a good sized perch. Hmm. Thought it was a perch, but it looks like looked like a pike when it came up. Yeah, it's a small, small pike. As soon as I switch over to perch gear, I catch pike. Which tells me that generally we should maybe downsize more when it comes to pike fishing. Like people do in France and Poland and the rest of Europe. In many countries in Europe, this would be considered a good sized pike lure. In Sweden, no one goes specifically pike fishing with lures this size. But every time we go perch fishing, we do catch pike. So maybe we should try downsizing more. Ah, crazy pike. I wonder if that was the same fish again that we saw on the sonar. Twice now I've seen something, switch over to perch gear and caught pike. Two pike so far. Any action for you? Uh, I caught three perch, but I'm struggling with, uh, with the wind. Yeah, don't you have an anchor? Yeah, I have, but it's, it's just weed and mud, so I'm moving anyway. Okay, so Jonny is having some problems with the kayak. The anchor he has is too too light, kind of, or it doesn't get any grip with his wind. That's clearly an advantage when it comes to flow tubes, because you have your feet and you can control. Kayaks are faster, you can transport yourself further, but uh, then you don't really have the same control when fishing. And now also a disclaimer, I've never fished from a kayak myself, but that's how I have understood it. I'm gonna keep hammering with this monkey shad. Seems to be the best pike medicine <laughs> for today as well. And we do have the chance to catch uh, perch and sander as well. I'm using 0.44 millimeter fluorocarbon for leader, which I think is perfect when doing this kind of combined perch and pike and sander fishing. Ooh, oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Wow, that take was crazy. Actually, it could be a sander. It was a really hard take. And now it's just coming in calm. Uh, no, of course it's another pike. Come on, dudes, you are fun, but pike number three. So, like I said, the leader material I'm using is 0 0.44 millimeter gunky fluorocarbon. I actually don't think I've ever lost a pike with this material. I'm uh, not saying that it's pike proof, but it holds up quite good. I did see something down on the bottom again here, so I'm gonna try some vertical jigging. Something I do way too little. Haha, <laughs> fish on right away! Oh yes! There we go! So I saw a fish on the deeper, did some vertical jigging with a monkey shad. And boom, there we go, nice perch. Super, super beautiful. Look at those colors. Super light and uh, beautiful perch. Wow, I think we only fished for like half an hour and we had lots of cool action. Super, super fun. Gonna put this baby back and we're gonna see if we can catch some more of these. Maybe vertical jigging is the <laughs> key for these guys. I've actually never really done uh, vertical fishing before. Uh, it's something that I see many of you guys doing, especially down in Europe, Germany and France and stuff. And it uh, <laughs> took me like two seconds to catch this beautiful perch, so perhaps I should give it a try more often. So, bye bye. Oh, fish on. Bye bye. Actually, now could be a good time to tell you that we are planning to make this one, the monkey shad, in a kind of pike, pike and sander size version. This one is 9 centimeters, and we're planning to make a 14 centimeter version as we speak. They are working on it down in our factory in Sri Lanka. Super excited to see that because I think it's going to be a perfect, perfect, perfect size when you want to target pike more specifically. In many countries, I talked to fishing with ace. You know, in uh, Poland, our friend, also our friends uh, feeling fishing and a maniac in France. 
and they told us that most people are actually using these smaller lures not really those 25 centimeter lures that we're using up here mostly because uh, we're quite spoiled with good fishing up here in Scandinavia oh fish on we're spoiled with good fishing up here in Scandinavia and uh, in other countries you often need to downsize to catch fish I think it's pike number five or six or something number five. yeah on perch perch egg one perch decent size like 30 something pike candy mmm what tour is going to be good or else Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Vad då flyttar jag i alla fall? Ska jag ta spöna? Wow. Kommer du upp eller? Ja, jag ska försöka ta det. Det är så jävla jobbigt med fyr. Jag har emot det allt jag kan. Vad jävla massa kred! Är uppe? Yes! Holy shit! Oh. Det är ingen torrdräkt eller något, det är bara rätt igenom. Nej, rätt igenom. Då åker vi i land. Holy shit guys, that could have been super dangerous. Jonne fell out of his kayak, turned, flipped over in the waves and he fell into the six degree water over like six meters of depth. So luckily he had his life jacket, luckily we were with him. Jonne needs to go home, change clothes, have something warm to drink and eat. Wow, that was really a reminder about safety. So yeah, crazy stuff. I would like to fish, but fuck it's cool. <laughs> Come on, aren't you supposed to be Finnish? <laughs> Or Olish? Yeah. I thought you guys could handle this. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, that was crazy. So part one of the float tube versus kayak challenge is over. That's uh, stability. And so far it's 1-0 float tube. Okay, funny that the first time I go fishing together with someone from a kayak, that person flips <laughs> out in the water. So Jon has fished from kayak 50 times in harder conditions than this as well. And of course when we go filming, he flips. Yeah. Last time I quit fishing because I was wet. I went back on ice fishing, fishing for pike. Yeah. And uh, 10 minutes after I came back with dry clothes, I caught a 11.95 pike. So that's a good goal for the afternoon. Yeah, so <laughs> cool. I'm lucky to be wet and now I'm going home changing clothes. Yeah, exactly. And we should also add that it's possible to lower the seat, to lower the weight yeah, and make it more stable. It's actually called, it's called gravity seat just because if it's windy. Yeah, and now it was uh, as high up as uh, possible. Like so that. yeah, like that. Now it's uh, much lower and probably more stable. So that's what we should have done. We didn't and <laughs> ended up in the water. But uh, yeah, everyone's arrived. Everything's, uh, nothing broke. Did your phone even Yeah, up? my phone is working actually. So me and Emil are going to get back on the water, we're going to keep fishing, we're going to work our way down with the wind and then uh, Jon is going to come back to the other part of the lake and then when we're finished there we're all going to go in Jonas' car back here to pick up uh, our cars. That's a good tip when you're going float tube or kayak fishing with a friend that you can actually uh, use several cars and par park them along the river or lake or something just to be able to fish a larger area, you know. So Jonne, see you, see you in an hour. Something. Yeah, we're gonna catch some big uh, fish now while waiting for you. Well, it's uh, fun with some action for the movie, but we don't need to overdo it. To encourage you guys to stay safe on water, let's give you guys a discount code of this 7 Bass Design Float Vest. Use code uh, STAY SAFE FOREVER to get 10% discount of this uh, 7 Bass <laughs> Float Vest. What do you think about that, Emil? That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, stay safe on the water, kids. Now I'm gonna try this one. Regular flat nose shad. I haven't used it a lot this year. I've been 
so caught up in all the new stuff, the dragon and the hooligan and all that nice stuff. But this is still definitely one of my favorite lures. All, all round lures for pike fishing. First cast with a flat nose and we're hooked up. Oh my God. Look at that. Perfectly hooked with this one stinger. There we go. Awesome slack bite. Close to the weed line here. Gets a little bit more shallow here. So I'm gonna try this one. The guppy. Perfect all round pike lure for shallow water. And it goes in like a big bay here with a bit more shallow water and some weed. And then this type of lure is perfect. You just fish it with some small twitches with a reel like this. Fish on in the stop. Oh, I missed it. Crap. Fish on, all the way in there. Again in the stop. A little dude. Boom. Look at that. So we're gonna put the baby back and I'm pretty sure there are gonna be more fish here in the weed, in the shallow water. I'm gonna keep fishing with this guppy and we'll see what's gonna happen. Bye bye. Looks like we might have some perch on the bottom here, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, fish on. Made the cast outwards and on the drop hooked up to something nice. This must be pike. Probably the biggest one of today. <laughs> and this one feels big. Like, not just decent, but big. Can't really move it. Come on, Pike. Reveal yourself. Ooh. I'm running 0.08 millimeter slide braid. So, quite thin line, but yeah, it's a nice pike. Took the monkey shad. Oh yes, please, please, please. Boom, nice, nice pike. Look at that. Uh, killed that monkey shad. Really looking forward to the pike size version that's coming later 2019 because they absolutely love this one. Look at that. Whoa, super nice pike from the flow tube on perch gear again. Can't believe it. This is just so much fun. Look at this Emil, nice pike. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that head. Awesome. Boom. That's gonna give you a quick measurement here on the board. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, like 93 centimeters. Hope you enjoyed your visit in the flat form. Boom. And again, this freaking monkey shad does the trick. Can't believe how many pike I've caught on this one today. I'm really, really looking forward to the 14 centimeter version on this one. It's gonna catch so much pike and big perch, I believe. And this one is also doing quite okay. <laughs> cool. So let's uh, keep casting. Fish on. Another close to, not really the size of the last one, but something like 80 centimeters, maybe 75. I think uh, this is officially my new uh, favorite pike lure. Fish on! Pike after pike after pike after pike. I think I'm gonna move to pike again. Make a few casts here along this deep weed line. I'm also gonna show off a little bit for these guys because uh, I can do one thing from this craft that they can't do and that is stand up fishing. Hey guys! Can you do this? <laughs> so we are on three and a half meters of water and we, there we go, fish on. And now this is the fun part because now we are on like roller coaster mode. 
when you catch fish standing up like this. Hey! Awesome! Actually, this is a good... This is a great position for landing fish, actually. Standing like this. Boom! Nice evening pike! On the Laban. In the sunset. Look at that. Beautiful. So this might be the last pike of the day. The sun is about to go down. Super fun pike standing up from the platform like that. Boom. No monster, but very, very beautiful. Back home to catch her another day. Thank you so much for the fight. Boom. Ah, so guys, that was it for today. Awesome ending with that pike. Okay. And now... Don't take a bath in November. Yeah, it's quite cold. And if you do, make sure you have a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to sum it up, I would say that, of course, kayaks and float tubes both has its uh, advantages and disadvantages. Kayaks are fast, you can go far, but then I guess you have better control with your fins and water from float tube. And if you have your seat too high up, kayaks <laughs> <laughs> could be a bit unstable. Yeah. Well, anyhow, it depends on your way of fishing, where you're gonna fish and all that. And, you know, both are good. There's no one that is better than the other. I think that this uh, platform really has the best of two of them. When you have the oars, you can transport yourself uh, far, quite fast, uh, while still have the control of the fins in the water and all this extra space and stuff. So I'm super happy with this one. It's a little bit heavy if you're gonna fish remote waters and need to, you know, walk far to the water and that kind of stuff. But other than that, it's, uh, it's great. So overall, it was a fantastic day on water. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow these guys on Instagram. They catch a lot of big uh, pike and perch and uh, all that. Just follow them. Also, feel free to subscribe up there if you haven't already. It means a lot for us. All the lures and gear that we used in this episode can be found on this link down there. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>